We're gonna start sitting like we always do with our legs crossed, sitting up tall. And we're gonna look up and down. Up at the ceiling, down at the floor. And to the left and to the right. And we'll start off slow. And then we'll go a little bit faster. And then our shoulders go up and down. And our arms go up and we go into sleepy to stretch out our necks. Into the other side. And legs out in front. And we'll bring them in and hug them. And out. And bring them in and hug them. Make sure your toes are pointed on the floor. And one more time in. And out. And we'll make our big beach ball. And up. And reach for our toes. You want to make sure your knees stay straight. So nice and straight, not bent while you try to reach. And if you can, you can touch your nose to your knees. And then we'll stretch again, big beach ball. Up, reach for your toes. And we'll go into our straddle. And we'll reach for each of our toes. And big beach ball up. Reach for one side. And if you can, again, you can put your nose to your knee. But it takes some work. And big beach ball, up to the other side. And a big beach ball, and we're gonna reach forward. And we're gonna go into butterflies. And we're gonna to touch our nose to our toes, if you can. And then we'll go into our mermaid to stretch our sides. We're gonna reach up into the side into the other side and then we'll lay on our tummies and we will bend and stretch keeping our toes pointed And then we'll stretch them out and we'll stretch out our backs by pushing up our arms. And if you can, you can touch your toes to your head or you can just stay in this stretch. And then you can also grab your ankles and pull up. We'll do that three times. Last one, and then we'll sit and frog for a minute. So heels together, rest your head on your hands. And 
and then we will do our somersault. So I'm gonna go this way so I don't crash into anything. And we'll walk forward and just ready to somersault. We can do our straddle roll where we start like this and roll and then cartwheel as well. So I would do about five to seven of those. And after tumbling, you can, like we do in class, we find a wall and we'll stretch up against it, put our legs up and try to scoot in as much as we can for 30 seconds. So we'll do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And also our elevates, which is a little bit of a rise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll do our tendus in first as well. Remember when you do a tendu, your toes stay on the floor. So just one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll do six on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do our dégagés as well, which is when you lift your leg up, your foot off the floor just a little, but you don't want to kick, it's just a small lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. And something else we're gonna be doing in the dance is a little bit of, as a little pique. So we'll stand in first position and our foot will go out and we'll just tap the floor twice. Foot back in, foot out. One, two, make sure your toes are pointed. Out, hit the floor, hit the floor, down, out, hit the floor, hit the floor, down. And then we'll go into second. Remember, you don't want to be too wide. Just right under your hips. And we'll do our plies in second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and elevate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll go back to first and we're gonna work on our churns a little bit. So we're gonna make our big beach ball and up and we turn in our place trying to stay, not going all over the place, just in one spot. So little turns, remember to not look at the ground. and down and then we're going to do our skips and gallops and marches that we do front to the front of the mirror and to the back so we'll start like this skipping forwards and then backwards make sure you look where you're going so you don't run into anything and then skipping forwards again and to the back, 
just following a straight line. And then we'll gallop forwards as far as you can go and gallop backwards and forwards again and to the back and then we'll march as loud as you can if your knees are getting up and then we'll work on our leaps as well remember when you leap it's from one leg to the other and you jump over so we'll do our run, 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 leap over a rug, over dots like we do in class or something that is letting you jump over. So I could use my yoga mat and put it on the floor and that would be what I would jump over. You can do your run, run, leap, and then after, remember we do gallop, gallop, leap over at one end, and skip to the corner and we can go back the other way too to get extra practice and we're gonna gallop and gallop to the other side and march and Another thing that we can do at first is working on our jumps. So we'll come back to first and you want in your spot. And remember, plie jump, down, plie jump, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do it in second as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 